everybody, welcome to this fantastic new edition of the Both Family uh, Blogs and Reviews. Today we're re reviewing the All-Star results, particularly All-Star Sports and All-Star Music. The All-Stars uh, are some of the older hotels, particularly the Value Range. Hi, Holly. Um, All-Star Sports originally opened in 1994. Uh, the original value, it was it's broken down into sections of what they call micro-hotels. So each uh, section of the resort has its own name. <coughs> Uh, there is the touchdown, which is the American football section, the centre court, which is the tennis, uh, the home run hotel, which is the baseball section with its own pool, which is the goofy baseball pool, the hoops hotel, and of course, surfs up, again where the main pool is, which is immediately adjacent to the building. Uh, surfs up and touchdown are what would class as priority room areas, so if you're looking for a room close to the main amenities, these are going to be the areas that you're going to be going in. We stayed at the uh, All Stars back in 2014, and this was our first experience as a family at a Disney hotel. Uh, the rooms are quite big, uh, so there's at least two queen size rooms in the All Star Sports, and it's generally sufficient room for two adults, two kids, and an infant if you need, if you've got one. <laughs> it only has a quick service for your. Uh, eating location and it's just pretty much standard fare of uh, burgers, hot dogs, chicken but they do do stuff like Sunday dinner kind of feel like uh, uh, chicken dinners with mash and green beans and gravy, uh, there's pizza there's a big pizza takeout section where you can get a, a large family sized pizza that you can sit down and have together um, and it, we were absolutely blown away by how mild this is first of all, uh, the check-in experience you can do an online check-in which means you can use your my Disney app, you can check into your resort and it allows you to jump the queue as such. Uh, your room gets allocated uh, after three o'clock and if you're able to receive text messages or emails while you're over there, uh, you'll get notified which is your room. And you can actually use the um, My Disney app to go straight to your room. In some instances we can't do that, you still need to go to an online check-in desk to pick up any mental bands and complete any checking parts of the check-in process. Uh, one really important bit to sort of factor in here, folks, is that the Revolut uh, money card that most people tend to use when they go to the US, or sort of something like one of these, um, doesn't always work with Disney. Uh, I found when linking a card to my hotel, it's either going to be a, a sort of main standard MasterCard or Visa credit card, or the post office card is usually pretty decent for this. Checking has always been pretty good. I've never had any um, long-winded affairs of trying to check in. In fact, the only time I've had any trouble checking in at an All-Star Resort was at our last trip, uh, last May, when we stayed at the All-Star Music. I'll come back to that in a minute. So from a checking perspective, I'd give it a solid 9 out of 10. Um, the kids were always gifted like a little wand or a, a party hat or even balloons uh, just to sort of say, welcome to the resort. And you know that always put a smile on their face, made them happy, and it was always <laughs> sorry. I got <laughs> what are we doing? Get down! <laughs> uh, that always put a smile on their face and made them happy. So the pools, uh, as I said, there's a surf up pool and a home run pool. Uh, when we stayed at the All Stars, we stayed in the touchdown section, which meant we were smack bang in the middle between the two sections. Uh, both pools were amazing. In September, we stayed at the All Stars. Uh, it was heated, which meant we were able to enjoy a swim, a late night dip, and it was suitably warm. Whereas it could have been cool, it might have been too hot, but no, it was it was a really great um, temperature. The theming of the pools is really cool. Um, it doesn't score as one of the best pools on site, and I'll, I'll explain why in a moment. But very nice pools. Out of a score of 10, I would give the pools a solid 6, if not a 7. 6.5 would say. The only reason I would say this, and it's something I think the values like a little bit compared to maybe the moderates, the deluxes and the DVCs, is that most of the hotels now in those categories tend to have a little uh, bit of a splash pad play area for kids. They do, but it's a very small pool that's shallow and there's not much there. Uh, there's no miniature slides, there's no wet play areas. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not particularly bothered about jacuzzis or hot tubs and in certain places particularly when we stay at the All Star Sports um, 
it looked a little bit dishevelled um, and needed a little bit of TLC. Now, I do believe since then it's had a little bit of uh, support um, and the pools generally were quite good. So, you know, I'll, I'll review that. I'll, I'll give that a solid seven. Solid seven easily. Uh, we didn't use the pool bar at this particular hotel, uh, but it was pretty fantastic. Um, in terms of rooms and amenities, it's a standard motel style room, which means you enter the room from the outside. Um, I, I, if anybody saw my last uh, travel vlog at the end of our May series when we were talking about the El Star music, my major sort of negative about any of the El Star hotels, and this will go for most of the moderates, and the noise of it is because you enter the room from outside. Um, you essentially have to keep your curtains closed most of the time to regain your privacy. And because of that, um, the room felt a little bit dark, but the, the light and the illumination inside uh, helped with that. Uh, Size-wise, fantastic. Plenty of room for two double beds. Um, my, my only thing would be to say is that these hotels are probably in a bit of a need of renovation in terms of decor and the TV is definitely a very older unit. Particularly when I know that they've uh, renovated a lot of Pop Century recently. And I know that quite a lot of all star music, which I'll get to again in a sec, is being done up. Out of uh, 10, I'd give the rooms of the Monist a solid 8 out of 10. My Again, my only thing that would say it's my own personal negative is, number one, it gets a bit dark, particularly if you're in during the day. You've got to keep your curtains shut to keep some um, privacy, particularly if you're bathing or just relaxing. Uh, number two, I, I like coffee in the morning. And... Um, I, I, I do think I've probably been spoiled by some of the, the moderate and the deluxe resorts when I say I'd like a coffee in the morning in my room but anybody who stayed at the, the Caribbean beach or even at the um, Port Leans will know you've got the little coffee machines or the chocolate coffee machines they're amazing and one thing I would say when it comes to all-star music again I do know with the renovated rooms these are beginning to become something that they get which is great finally the food court as I say pretty bog standard burgers Solid 9 out of 10. The food choices are, are really, really good for um, what you class as a value resort. Uh, there's great options. It's fantastic from the dining plan. There's a nice little quick service area where you can grab um, sandwiches and salads to go. Uh, both times staying at a value resort and uh, in a couple of the other resorts, there's some interactions between uh, the staff of the food court and the chefs at the food court with customers who've got specific dietary requirements. And, I'm not talking people who are on Atkins or people who are, um, you know, of a certain faith who aren't kosher or halal meals. They were going out of the way for people who had specific medical diet requirements, such as unable to eat gluten, unable to eat so, um, lactose. Um, and they would come out, they would talk about what they're able to offer, how they would prepare that, uh, what process would go into that meal. And that's that's just Disney all over to me. That's, that's brilliant. They're, they're talking about going an extra mile and doing something extra for the hotel goer, which is fantastic. Um, again, my only sort of negative would be that uh, it gets very, very busy. Uh, the All Stars are synonymous with groups, which is probably why uh, <laughs> Anton Deck had chosen this for their uh, their base this time, because I know they used uh, Caribbean Beach last time. Um, it is very, very busy with groups. You get lots of cheerleaders, you get lots of. Um, other groups that are doing tours uh, because they are the, the cheaper option when staying on site and Disney quite often will do group discounted rates. Uh, we've stayed at an All Stars before now when there's been these groups here and they've been noisy uh, and they've been very busy. So overall, out of 10, the All Star to me is an amazing resort. I don't think it gets as much love as it really deserves and you know, given the opportunity, would I stay there again? Yeah, you, you bet yourself would do. The snobbing the tsunami coffee machine in my room, I can live without because there is coffee trucks nearby, there's coffee in the main building, you know, inverted commas, first world problems. Christ, I could even take a travel kettle with me and take some Nescafe if I needed to. I just like coffee in the morning. So, I'll, for that reason alone, I would give it a solid 9 out of 10. It's definitely a really great hotel for a limited budget if you're unable to afford the higher end hotels. Don't get me wrong, we all want to stay in the contemporary resort with a castle view room to sit in our balcony in the evenings with our loved ones and watching the fireworks. That room will cost you a second mortgage on your house, but we don't want to do it. If you, you know, if you're not in that position to do that, or you're not a DVC member to stay at one of the localised DVC resorts, 
it all sounds fantastic. It is classified as being in the Animal Kingdom area. Uh, it's only about four or five minutes drive from Animal Kingdom. But it's also immediately close uh, to um, the beach. In fact, you can physically walk from the All-Star Resort past okay. the... Um, are you waving? Don't wave. Is that it's you? Real. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can walk from the All-Star past the it's McDonald's real. and Oceola Parkway. All the way to Blizzard Beach, as well as the yeah. Winter Summer Golf Resort. So, All Star Music. We stayed there in May of last year, so that's 2019, for those who have quite a short year, this is. I know I have to check twice, at least. Um, we stayed in the rock and roll section, and we specifically chose this section because we didn't want to pay for the preferred view. Uh, this time, unlike the All Star Music, we had a car hire. And um, we were able to just run out, jump in the car, and be off wherever we needed to be. So, very similar room. In fact, it's a carbon copy of the room at the All Star Sports, with the exception it's little themes, it's little touches like uh, pictures or um, various bits that are meant to be rock and roll themed. The All Star Sports was the original one. All Star Music came next and is decidedly bigger. Uh, the layout is different, as you can see from this map here. And it spreads out over a larger area. Now, because it spreads out over a larger area, um, it can be a bit of a longer walk. I have heard people in the past tell uh, customer services that they're unhappy they've got such a big walk from where the room is to the main building. I get for some people this is a, a physical challenge for, for their own personal reasons, for whatever they may be. But it, it's a nice walk. Uh, past some fountains. Um, past the pool, it's lovely in the evening, you, you can hear the uh, crickets, uh, quite often we saw toads and frogs hopping around because it was that time of year and they were spawning, um, we absolutely loved it, again, my only detriments to the room are the, how dark it can be during the day when you've not got the, the curtains open and finally, coffee machine, but um, as you'll see from this clip, we were in the uh, rock and roll section and in the section just across the way there was the um, food truck with the coffee in it. Now it was really handy to do that, we'd have a walk in the morning wouldn't we, Bubsy Bubsy, and we'd uh, get ourselves a drink, uh, take it back to the room or go and get in a car and off we pop. You'd also got McDonald's drive through immediately around the corner so if you desperately wanted your, your coffee fixed before you got to the parks, just go for the drive through, get yourself another coffee. There's two pools. There was the um, piano pool and the guitar pool, both very clearly themed. Uh, the guitar pool had the uh, three caballeros from uh, Mexico Pavilion, so Donald and the other two guys. Uh, it was very, very similar theme. Again, um, not much in the sense of kid sense, no splash areas, no um, slides. So, you know, for that reason alone, I'd give this one a good 8 out of 10 for the pool. Um, the condition was much, much better. Um, what really bumped the score up for me was their attention to detail and to sanitation on at least two occasions when we went to the pool they were consistently checking the uh, the quality of the water and we think although we can't be certain that on at least one occasion uh, a member of the public may have had an accident in the swimming pool and they immediately jumped to it uh, removed the the item itself and then set to about sterilizing the pool to make it safe for use again and they were very clear in that but at the same time when that was going on they got the uh, entertainment staff that do the poolside entertainment down and got them to entertain the kids with games um, with little bits, got little discos going on, the kids were happy um, again it can be very very busy um, it can be a very very busy pool um, fantastic lifeguard coverage at both hotels, love them absolutely love them to bits um, the rooms, as I say, pretty straightforward, so that's the same score as previously. Uh, the overall condition of the food court, again, very similar style, very similar kind of food. I, I would score it on par and par. I'd, I'd give it a solid 9 out of 10, purely, again, just about the, the little bits of amenities that I know you're not paying for a moderate, but it's, I think, to add what the, you're paying me, a value resort at Disney is still going to be more than most hotels in Kissimmee or Davenport or even International Drive. Um, I have priced up the hotel prices between somewhere like the Rosen Point in Orlando 
behind All Star Sports for a week in July, and they are, you know, the All Star Sports has come in the month. <coughs> and I get you staying on Disney, you're staying at Disney Public, you've got that Disney transportation. Um, the All Star Music is the second to pick up and the second to drop off, whereas the All Star Sports is the first to pick up and the fourth to drop off. Then logically, the music is last, the movies is last. Um, the movies is the one hotel we haven't stayed at, and we did get an opportunity to take a quick gander at it. Um, the only thing I would say that I haven't done with the movies. Where, where are we going? Where, okay. Uh, let's get you some cuddles again. Um, the movies do periodically run a secret menu where you get the old sort of uh, viewing glasses that you use to look at stuff back in the Victorian times, and within that is a secret food menu. It's the only one that has it. But other than that, the food costs are identical. Maybe a little bit of theming um, along the way, but you know, it's one film like a sports hall, music hall, a movie hall. Shops again, identical, but the amenities of the shops are really, really cool. There was stuff that I struggled to find on site at Disney that I found very quickly at the All Star shops. Um, but because I've not stayed at the movies, that's where I'm going to sort of end that review there. So, Ant and Deck link in here. Ant and Deck are obviously doing their end of the show show, massive extravaganza, uh, the end of the series show, I should say. Um, at Walt Disney World again at the Magic Kingdom and the hotel that you can get if you get to go on the plane is the All Star Sports and it is a beautiful, beautiful hotel absolutely, anybody who gets to go on the show is going to love this hotel and I really do hope you enjoy it I would love to know your thoughts and your feelings so um, please link uh, any comments you've got here underneath if you enjoy what we do as a vlog as well as our trip series, please like and subscribe Click that bell notification at the top. It'll tell you the next time we post a video. But this video, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you in the know, you're going to know straight away this has been an exclusive to the Facebook page of Get Binky, Do What Makes You Happy. And what I also want to do is include the link just here um, for anybody who has watched this, that uh, in conjunction with Get Binky, we would really would like you to, to support their uh, funding for autism awareness. This little young lady here is uh, an autistic child. I've got another autistic child, and we want to do everything we can to support them. So please, if you do see this and you want to support Get Binky for raising um, much needed support for autism awareness, please go to this link here. I'll put it in the, uh, the show notes that's at the bottom, and please donate. This is the Robson family guy signing off. Come on, kid. Let's rock and roll.